Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a special job, yeah? Check check this laptop, yeah? 17 inch, i7, and probably NVIDIA graphics, 120 hertz display. This is a proper nice one, Nitro 5. Now, why this job is special? Is because the customer sent me a bag of coffee, you know? I will feel bad if I will not fix his laptop. But before we are starting, let's speak about our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop solution for all kinds of PCBs. 3D printing, CNC, she metal, all are available on their website. I will leave a link in the description. Every new register, they will have $5 to buy PCBs, which is about 10 PCBs. So basically, you just make an account and you have like 10 PCBs for free. All you have to do is to pay for the postage. Now I did check myself the quality. It's unbelievable. So check here. Those are PCBs from the PCB way. As we start on the other channel with the beginner lessons, definitely I will order some PCBs from PCB way. Now back to our laptop. So what's the problem with the laptop? Let's check the customer letter. So the customer is actually a subscriber. Many thanks for helping with the repairs. The laptop was exactly one month over the warranty when it didn't turn on anymore. Tested the power supplies. I hope it's just a capacitor. You know what? That's what we hope with every job. But most likely it's not a capacitor. This is a gaming laptop. Many thanks and keep up the excellent work. Like, subscribe, and I'm ready to recommend it. So let's open the laptop quickly. We're not gonna check yet. Let's open first. Wow, this is a nice laptop. I mean, check here, it's a classic board, classic board. I mean, you can spot the input circuit from like, you see the charging port, first MOSFET, second MOSFET, current sensor. You know what I mean? So let's get the multimeter. Let's check the main power rail, yeah? Now is the moment. Now is the moment. Minus, plus here on the current resistor, 8 ohms. Now, when you have 8 ohms, most likely it's not a capacitor. And, <laughs> you know, I'm so sorry for this customer already. But let's hope. We can still hope can be a capacitor, but it's 8 ohms. So most likely we have a 0 ohm MOSFET on the CPU. If it will be on the GPU, we will have under 1 ohm. So this must be a shorted MOSFET on the CPU. It's not on the chipset because it's no blow up, but yeah. Can be a capacitor? Yes, can be a capacitor. We can have like a weird case with a very high resistance capacitor? Can be can be but very unlikely yeah. i will unplug the battery yeah good now let's come with the power supply let's lower the voltage let's lower the voltage to be safe uh, 0 0.9 should be fine a little bit of current let's lower to like two amps yeah so we have ground and we have plus after the first two MOSFETs. Here. We don't have ground. We, nah. Okay, we don't have really ground there. Yeah, let's see. So it's taking 900 milliamps, the CPU or the GPU. Uh, which one, the CPU or the GPU? Just say, probably not, it probably is the CPU, right? Yeah, nothing is getting hard. No, 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 this, this, this is a dead CPU, right? Must be a dead CPU. 10 ohms. Oh, the VRAM, I can't believe. Check there the VRAM. Check the VRAM. You can see it? The VRAM, I can't believe. It's still good. It's still good because this laptop uh, can still be used on... Uh, uh, that's so bad. 
You know, I'm so sorry. You know how it's with the VRAM? You have one, you can see two VRAMs are getting hot. But as soon as you desolder those two VRAMs, you will see another one or another one and so on. So all VRAMs are dead. GPU, most likely it is the, the, the NVIDIA chip. Because like how I said, you have a shorted MOSFET. One of these two are, are shorted. When you have a shorted MOSFET and you have 19 volts with like 10 amps coming to the VRAM, the, sh the short, it's not always to, with ground. Yeah, It is with ground and with the outputs, which are going to the GPU. So the GPU, so the VRAM has eight ohms, you see? That's why the main power rail has eight ohms. Let's remove the MOSFETs. Okay, so we remove one MOSFET. Let's check to see if the main power rail is still shorted. No, it's not shorted anymore. Yeah, you can see it's not short. So that MOSFET was dead. Feels bad, right? Feels bad. Okay. Let me plug. Let me plug the charger. It's working. We have picture. I can't believe. I can't believe we have picture. Let me check the VRAM quickly. The laptop shut down. Yeah, we don't have hissing over the CPU. I know. I know. That sucks. Let me power on one more time. Let's check the VRAM. 1.2 Wait, do you think this actually can be good? Let me switch it off. One second. Because we still have voltage on the VRAM, and that's strange. I mean, it's not strange. Yeah, it's working on one coil. Uh, it is possible this customer to be lucky. I mean, the voltage on the VRAM is still good. It's still okay. So let me replace that MOSFET and check after, because right now all the pressure is left on this MOSFET. Those power supplies are together, yeah? So let me replace that MOSFET. Okay, we have 6930, yeah? And we need 6932. Let me check what is the difference. Let me check online. Okay, I found it, I found it, yeah? So we have 6930, 6932. Now my ones, they have, they are lower amps, but they can, uh, they have lower internal resistance, and the original one has a little bit more amps, but the internal resistance is higher. Yeah, so I believe my ones with lower internal resistance are better. Now have in mind when you are replacing the MOSFETs, yeah, like on this case, we have two MOSFETs, yeah, doing the same job. I mean, the output, the output coils are connected together here, you can see, from the both coils. So the MOSFET has to be the same, because otherwise one MOSFET it will work harder compared with the other. So when you are replacing, you have a shorted MOSFET, replace both MOSFETs. Let's get the solder out. Perfect. Let's check for short. It's not short. Let's clean quickly. Perfect. Now, let's test. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, remember what I told you. Remember. So I got the password. Check that, NVIDIA with, you know, the yellow sign on the, on the NVIDIA graphics. Sadly, is nothing what we can do. It's nothing what we can do. Like how I told you, when you have a shorted MOSFET, then the power is not going only to ground, you know, okay, shorting the VRAM and the the 19 volts, it will go to ground. No, it will go also on the data lines, yeah? So the GPU is dead, the VRAM is dead. Okay, all good, the Windows is working great. It's charging the battery, everything.
it's okay. It's still working on the on the Intel graphics. The fans are spinning. The heat sink is just a little bit warm. Now, is something what we could do more for this customer? No. I mean, I've been on that road. I replace VRAMs and always when a VRAM is dead, a GPU is dead also. Okay? Replacing the GPU, I will be happy to replace it if you can give me a good GPU. You know, like a good one. You know it's good, you know? Because otherwise, we have experience buying chips from uh, AliExpress. So I'm going to stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. I'm happy I helped this customer. At least he can use the laptop. It's not like, you know, a waste. It still can be used. So uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video like always. And see you on the next one. Bye.